Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. The Brainworks BXXL V3 is a multiband mid side limiter. Its primary purpose is to make your mixes competitively loud, on par with major label releases, while maintaining the integrity and clarity of your audio. The latest version of BXXL includes a new user interface, a true peak limiter with classic and modern modes, and updated meters. To demo the Brainworks BXXL V3, Start a free Megaplan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. The idea behind this plugin is that by separately limiting your low end in the mid channel, your top end in the mid channel, and your sides, you're able to maximize loudness without sucking the life out of your mix. This allows you to push your mix harder than a simple broadband limiter without experiencing noticeable pumping effects. Applying XL saturation will make each band sound even thicker and fuller while reducing harshness. There's some other unique features like a mono maker, sidechain circuit, and various solo options. Let's start by listening to some before and after audio comparisons. After that, I'll show you a workflow to maximize loudness while maintaining the clarity of any track. To start, loop the loudest part of the song you're mastering. Boost your input signal until you see less than one decibel of compression applied to transients running through either the mid-low or mid-high channel. It will depend on your mix. This gets your input level situated properly to apply further processing. Add focus to your low end by turning up the mono maker. This cuts away low end frequencies in the side signal, making all frequencies below the cutoff point mono. It automatically compensates for the loss of low end energy in the sides so your mix doesn't lose impact. Depending on how much stereo bass is present in the sides of your mix, making your low end mono can free up more headroom in the side channel and allow you to drive that channel harder without distortion. Just be careful not to mono your mix too high up the frequency spectrum, or it can start to sound thin and narrow. Generally, you'll probably want to set the mono maker somewhere around 40 to 80 hertz, but depending on the song, you could push it higher. The crossover knob adjusts the crossover frequency between the mid-low limiter and mid-high limiter. You can target your low end in a way that isolates your kick, allowing you to limit it differently than the rest of the mix. This can help eliminate pumping effects that are a problem when using broadband limiters. To make setting the crossover easier, solo the mid-low channel while you isolate your kick. There's also an option to link the crossover and mono maker values. You can solo the left, right, mid, or side channels. The auto button automatically solos the channel you're currently adjusting. This is incredibly helpful when adding saturation, modifying attack and release settings, and adjusting threshold levels. XL saturation will thicken your signal and potentially alter the dynamic range, so it generally makes sense to apply saturation before limiting. Turn up each saturation knob until you're happy with the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
querer Como yo te quise ayer Te quise ayer yeah. Vete si te va a querer To limit your sound, you have two options. If you're happy with the balance of your mix, drop the threshold level until the signal is brushing the gain reduction meter. Then enable fader link to activate an inverse relationship between the gain and threshold sliders. As you boost the gain knob, the threshold level will reduce. This lets you hear the effects of compression without a significant increase in loudness. The other approach is to offset the balance of your mix to maximize loudness. In this case, enable fader link before dropping your threshold level. When you do this, you'll limit each channel to a similar level. Your side channel tends to contain more headroom than the mid channel, so your mix becomes fuller and broader as you push the sides. How much you should limit your mix depends on the genre, your personal preferences, and the specific song, but that's the process. The attack knob adjusts the limiter's responsiveness to incoming audio, while the release knob affects how quickly gain reduction stops being applied when the signal drops below the threshold. In many cases, the default attack and release settings will work well, but you can adjust these as necessary. This global XL saturation knob scales all three saturation knobs, allowing you to dial back or increase the saturation applied. The same concept applies to the gain boost knob and threshold knob. After each signal is limited individually, it's summed together and run through a true peak limiter. This type of limiter provides more accurate peak detection than your average limiter, allowing it to prevent clipping more effectively. Turning up the gain knob will lead to more gain reduction, while the ceiling sets the level at which limiting is applied. Classic mode is safe and minimally punchy, while modern reacts faster and delivers more punch, making it suitable for many modern genres. This release knob behaves like the others. Channel link affects how the true peak limiter responds to the left and right channels. At 100%, a peak in the left channel will trigger compression in the right channel and vice versa. At 0%, each channel is limited separately. Suppose your mix contains drastically different information in each channel. In that case, you may want to reduce channel link, but generally, it's best to keep this somewhere between 75 and 100 to maintain the integrity of your stereo image and prevent the mix from seemingly pulling to one side. You may have noticed a sidechain mix feature at the bottom of the user interface. By default, the sidechain signal is a blend of the mid and side signals. Although you can change this with these drop down menus. As you can see, there's also the option to select an external sidechain signal. If you'd like to audition the sidechain signal, just click this solo button. Cause a channel to respond to the sidechain mix rather than the plugin's default input signal, click the sidechain button associated with that channel. For example, if you want your side channel to respond to mostly side information, but also respond to some mid transients, you would set the sidechain mix to somewhere around here and then enable the sidechain button on the side channel. Doing this can add extra groove to your mix. <laughs> Up top, there's some additional knobs to adjust the balance of your mix. You have left-right gain knobs and mid-side gain knobs that can be linked or unlinked. The updated meters panel includes true peak, RMS, gain reduction, LUFS, and correlation meters. The LUFS meter can be toggled between short-term and momentary modes. You can also set various LUFS targets based on personal preference or distribution format. The pan knobs at the bottom are interesting. Panning the mid-channel shifts signals out of the center of your mix, while panning the side-channel tilts your stereo information around the stable mid-information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The master out lets you set your final output level to provide your mix with sufficient headroom. When you upload your music to different streaming services, it's converted into different codecs, which can lead to distortion if you don't leave enough headroom. You can use Streamliner to audition your music using low quality codecs to determine exactly how much headroom you need to leave. Drop the output level in BXXL until your mix no longer clips in Streamliner. Toggle between codecs to make sure none of them lead to clipping. Every song requires a different amount of headroom, so you should check all your masters this way. At the top of the interface, there's a bypass switch that toggles the plugin's processing on and off. You can scale the UI to fit your screen. There are four control banks labeled A, B, C, and D. You can copy and paste the controls from one bank to another, or reset the parameters within a bank. Finally, there's a UI color menu that allows you to change the plugin's highlight color. To demo the Brainworks BXXL V3, start a free Megaplan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. Give this video a like if it helped you out, and subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for more plugin walkthroughs like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.